With those situations, we're going to have to put them on the disabled list for a uh, hamstring strain, uh, and then we'll recall Chase Whitley uh, from. Obviously, with those situations, we're going to have to put them on the disabled list for a uh, hamstring strain, uh, and then we'll recall Chase Whitley uh, from Durham. So excited to have him come in, but uh, you know, it is what it is. To hold the Red Sox today to just two runs um, overall, just the job your bullpen did, what did you like that you saw from the group? Uh, I love the efficiency. I mean, the guys knew. I mean, as soon as you, you lose your pitcher in the uh, – basically right in the second inning before it even starts um, – Everybody kind of takes notice, like, hey, we got to get efficient here. We got to lengthen ourselves out, and they were asked to do some things that we customly would wouldn't ask them. But very impressed with their performances, and uh, just like the way the team competed. I mean, that, that, that generally when you lose a guy like that, those games can spiral out of control. We had every opportunity to to, to win that game. Uh, sale was very very difficult, but liked a lot of the the at bats. Jake Odorizzi left the game with left hamstring tightness. In what ways maybe did that carry over from when he got hit against the Blue Jays during his last outing? Well, I, I'm not sure how much it carried. I'm sh I would imagine it had an effect. I mean, I don't think he really was feeling it on anything he was doing in between the starts, but uh, we always talk about you can't replicate or simulate game speed, and, and that's probably what it was. He got out there on his on his front side a little bit and, and felt it tug. And any updates? What's, what's going on with Jake? Jake? Jake yeah, he'll he'll be on the DL and uh, he's fine. We, we anticipate that, you know, um, this will be a short stay. Yeah, I mean, look, you know, you're going into the game against a very very dominant pitcher. Uh, and he looked every bit the part today. So uh, I was happy. We were all pleased with the, the, the guys and how they went out and competed against him. Look, we drove his pitch count up. It wasn't easy. Um, and, and they extended him. I think he ended up 110 or something pitches, something like that. Um, but he's tough, you know. Tip your cap and we'll, we'll plan to get him next time we, we face him. Yeah, you know, it, Leon. yeah. Uh, that was frustrating simply because uh, you, you feel like you, you get the right guy in there, you make the right move, you make the right pitch, everything goes your way, but we didn't quite get the ball hit hard enough uh, to turn a double play. So uh, no fault to anybody. X was outstanding, and, and Robbie got the only out that he could he could get. Yeah, I mean, he looked up and didn't really have a play at all. There was all. no play. And there if you no go to play. second, you run the risk of not getting the back end anyway. Right, right. right. Given that uh, Sale has three plus pitches, if not plus plus, did you have an actual game plan against him, or is it just take the best at bats you can? Yeah, I, I, I think go up there and the guys that are familiar with him use draw from some of their experiences, but uh, it's not like that we set out, hey, this is what we're going to do. We know he's very, very good, and uh, the thing with Chris Sale that makes him He's special with all of his pitches, but he's able to change on the on the fly. I mean, he went to throwing change ups against lefties. Uh, he he can just he can make adjustments very well. With Odorizzi, he had a pretty solid first inning of work. Was there any indication after that that something might no. be wrong before he went out? Yeah. No, nothing at all. I, I didn't even see it happen. I was watching the the catcher batter, and then uh, the guy said he kind of grabbed himself afterwards. First pitch, yeah. Yeah. It shows a lot of resolve, doesn't it, for you guys overall to not – people start hanging their heads at that point. Yeah, we definitely feel that way. Yeah. Our starting pitcher. yeah. Yeah, uh, without a doubt. That's why you – know, it's a loss. It stinks. But at the same time, you got to be happy with the way that we competed and and can't say enough about the, the bullpen coming in and, and picking us up in a huge way. Kevin, I know Kim Meyer had a strong game in center field per usual. What's it mean to you guys to be able to have a guy like that in center field that you can just trust up there? Quite a bit. We've just paid him a lot of money. <laughs> um, he's a special player, man. He, he, he covers a ton of ground for us. And, you know, there's some really good center fielders in the game. He, he's, he's at the top.